Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm John Peterson from John Peterson Photography and today I'm departing a little bit from my photographic content to talk to you about a tool that's used to support my photography and that's my vehicle. And I recently picked up a brand new 2022 Kia Telluride. Super happy with this truck. This truck has so far exceeded all of my expectations and I'll give you a little walkthrough of the truck today. There's lots of great reviews out on YouTube around the, the Telluride, very specific kind of car centric reviews. But this is just a quick little introduction to my new ride and why I'm so happy with it. Um, we got this car to do a lot of different things. Um, I had a, I had a um, 2010 Volkswagen Touareg my wife had an 04 Ford Expedition. The Touareg was great for my photography outings. It was rugged, um, really great off-road capable truck, but it was too small for a family of four and a dog. The Ford Expedition was absolutely fantastic for hauling lots of people and lots of gear, but it's old and it does not um, really support me. It's a little too big for my, my photography workshops. And so um, knowing that both of our cars were getting older and starting to get some repairs that were getting a bit excessive, my wife and I started looking for a new vehicle. And uh, in this case, we found the Kia Telluride. And one of the one of the biggest criteria that we were looking for is something that was halfway in between the Touareg and the expedition from both room and capability perspective. And then we wanted a vehicle that had all the latest technology that we could get because we hold on to our vehicles for an awful long time. And so at the end of a life cycle, by the time we're done with the vehicle, whatever tech is in a vehicle is so far outdated. Um, so whenever we get a new one, we try to get the most that we can in a vehicle at that time, knowing that we're going to um, hold on to it for an awful long period of time. So with that, that's kind of my reasoning. And and also, you know, just, just fitting a family of four, right? My wife, my two teenage kids are big. They're tall and they need a lot of leg room. And so finding a mid-sized SUV that could fit my boys in the back was a real challenge. We looked at the forerunner and you know, I, I opened up the back door of the forerunner and looked at my 14 year old and didn't even try. We just walked away. I really, really, really wanted a Toyota forerunner, but it wasn't going to happen with, um, the size of the back seat. You know, we looked at the Ford X, uh, uh, Ford Explorer, um, which was a, a close contender to this. You know, of course, the Toyota Sequoia would fit everybody, but it's huge. The Ford Expedition, of course, a new one of those would fit everybody, but it's huge. And they sticker close to $90,000, which is a ton of money. And so we didn't want to spend that much. And so our search led us to the Kia Telluride and the Hyundai Palisade. These are, these are kind of sister or brother cars, whichever way you want to call it. And, uh, they're very, very similar except for a few key differences. And, and it was the Kia, the Kia's differences that really swung me over in their favor. It looks a little bit more masculine. It looks a little bit more rugged because, you know, I like to drive or I like to, I like to like what I drive and I like the look of it. And so I kind of liked the Telluride look a little bit better. And then the, the biggest one for me though, is the Telluride has a, an actual gear shift to go from park, reverse, neutral drive. The, the Palisade has push buttons 
And I'm kind of a car guy and I have been for many, many years and I just cannot do a push button trans transmission. And so that was an instant no for the Palisade for me. So with that, let me give you a quick little walk around of this vehicle. We chose to buy the Telluride and we went for the SX package, which is their top of the line trim level. And then we added the uh, Prestige package on top of that, plus the Nightfall edition, which blacks out all of the chrome and the tow package. The only other accessory I opted for, uh, well, besides um, rubber floor mats, is the illuminated door sills. And I'll show you those real quick. But what we chose to do is we chose the Dark Moss. And you can see the dark moss color. All of the chrome, all of the grill and the Telluride logo, not the Telluride logo, but the Telluride name right here have been blacked out. And it's a really sharp looking color. It was in between the moss and the um, gravity gray that we were looking at. One of the things when you go with the Nightfall Edition, it does come with some different wheels that are unique to that package. Um, all the Tellurides on the, uh, at the SX level ride on 20 inch wheels, which are great from a on-road handling perspective. Not so great when it comes to shopping for off-road tires or even slightly off-road tires. Um, that's where a lot of Telluride owners buy 18 inch wheels and then put new tires on them. My only other gripe uh, from an exterior perspective is Kia did not, it comes with a new logo here, but they did not black it out. So it's this bit of brushed metal that really stands out visually against the rest of the blacked out car. You can see we got the tow package down here. All in all, it is an absolutely beautiful vehicle. And on the interior, we went with a one of the uh, interior colors that is a slight charge option, which is called Dune Brown. And so it has brown leather seats and armrests with matching stitching. And then it comes with the dark wood, faux wood simulated trim. You can see, for me, it's a really sharp looking um, interior, and that's what I liked. But, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I won't explain all the, the steering wheel or the infotainment display. There's lots of other great videos to do that, but you can see down there, of course, there's my gear change lever. Yay! But, the, you know, the thing that's cool, it's got a wireless charging pad, Apple CarPlay, Android, and Android Auto, you know all the all the latest and greatest tech it's got a ton of highway um, and just driving aids to help protect uh, you the driver as well as make it a little bit easier to drive on long road trips and here we are in the back the second row of the vehicle and with this trim level and the prestige package it comes with captain's chairs so no bench seat back here i've got two captain's chairs and what in what is a uh, exclusive thing in this class um, the back seat has both heating and cooling to them so heated and cooled captain's chairs for a second row and it's got little usb port stuck in the side down below i've got 110 and 12 volts stuck in down there which is great for charging batteries when i'm out on the road it's got one sunroof that opens and tilts and then over the back passengers in the third row it's got basically just a panorama sunroof that does not open you can open and close the shade but the uh, the sunroof itself does not open 
And looking in the back of the vehicle here, I've got the third row folded down and I've got ample cargo room to bring all of the kids and the dog and all of our stuff over to the beach, um, all of my photography equipment. It's long enough if I fold a second row seat down, it's long enough for me to sleep back here. Um, you know, in the back I've got 12 volts, I've got USBs for the third row and drink holders and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did opt for the uh, rubber cargo mat to help save the carpet. And under, you know, underneath this, it's also got a great little storage area down here, which is nice tucked away. And it did come with a, um, a cover over the gear area and you can store it here in this little cubby area, which is really nice. Um, I have, a, I have one of those covers for the Touareg and I had to store it in the garage out of the vehicle when I didn't want to use it. And so here having in vehicle storage for that is super nice when I don't want it up. Uh, lift gate is hands free when you walk behind it with a key, uh, push button close. Um, all in all, it is just an absolutely fantastic vehicle. All right, so there you have my 2022 Kia Telluride SX Prestige Nightfall Edition. You know, this happens to be about the best value on the market that I can find. So for, you know, upper 40s to mid 50s, um, you are not going to find more features and more capability in a vehicle than what you'll find with this Kia. So hands down, best vehicle on the road. I've put about only put about 2000 miles on it so far. Uh, through a couple of different photography trips and I have zero nits to pick with this vehicle. Um, it's really, I, I haven't found anything that has been obtrusive or annoying. It has fit me like a glove and it fits all of the needs that I have for a photographic vehicle. So there you have it and stay tuned for more stuff and thanks for watching. Alright guys, bye bye.